Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today I'm going to talk about how to solve crashes during rendering animations done by animation nodes. So here is a home page of animation nodes on GitHub. You can download animation nodes in the code section and you can file bug report in the issue section and you can even pull requests or what, do whatever kind of things. And here is a post posted by one of the developers uh, Oma, he described and explained this issue and uh, he even provides two solutions of rendering animation nodes. I will provide the link in the description so that you can read this document. This document is very short. In short, this is an uh, issue of Blender. So, and it does not only affect animation nodes probably. And uh, very limited things um, these developers can do. And hopefully, this issue can be solved in future version of Blender, but now it, it's not known. But uh, there are two solutions. And uh, one is background render, and the other is render individual frames. I exclusively use render individual frame method. Uh, I have to disclaim that I have no knowledge about scripting, so if I mention anything about his script, uh, I might be wrong. So let's go to scripting, and basically what you need to do is copy this script and paste that in console. Then just hit rend uh, enter twice, then it's done. One thing I have to warn you, this is very different from rendering from rendering animation or, or source kind of things. Uh, there's no window will pop up and the blender will freeze itself. So this is the idea, but it, it's actively rendering. You can just uh, check your file path and you can see how it works. And here are two things I changed his script, uh, even though I don't have real knowledge about the scripting. Uh, one thing is, at the last line of his script, uh, there is a render file path equals to directory. Uh, based on experience, I do not see it's meaningful, so I delete that. Um, the second thing I've done is I changed the number here. This number basically means, for example, uh, in my file path, I named my uh, file as image. And with this number, assume the number is 05D, then the image will follow a number of 0000. 000, 000, 000, 000. And the second image will be image 00001. 000, 000, 000, 000, but if I change this number for four, to 4, then it will be 0001 and 000, or 000, 000 and 0001. So this is the idea. Uh, th th this is really, according to your personal preference, you can even change that to 1, I suppose. Uh, then it will be image 1, image 0, image 1, image 2, all sorts of, kind of stuff. Depends on how you use your files, essentially. Anyway, so this part basically is done. And here's also, just for your knowledge, there's a old way to work this out. So assume I have a cube. All the way to work this out is to use the feature of uh, bake to keyframe. So now I've created a super simple scene uh, with all these objects randomly distributed in space. You don't necessarily understand this is just for demonstration purposes. And uh, I animated their movement using animation nodes. So what actually happened is they just move randomly. So assume this is all about your animation. The object is moving around. Then you can start to use these back to keyframes. If you disable the node tree right now and you play the animation, there's nothing will occur because the node tree won't calculate itself. So the object won't remove themselves as well. But if you use the bake to keyframe, so you enable this node tree and the bake to keyframe, then everything 
all the movements will be in their keyframe. And so now even if I disable this node trace, this object can still move. And since you are not using animation node at all, you can just uh, render animation. You can even delete this entire whole tree and it will not affect your animation at all. Oh, it actually will affect because objects are produced by animation nodes. Um, but here's also one way that you can do is probably just to do duplicate this collection and you can try to delete everything and all these objects will stay and with their keyframes on. And now I no longer have to know the tree, but uh, all the animation stays as it is. So on so forth, whatever. This method has uh, this method has a limitation though. It only works when you are affecting um, transform. For example, now I'm going to create a cube. So now I create a curve object. And if I animate the movement of this cube, then this curve object will also uh, move with this cube. So this is the principle of this animation because I'm using the vertex point in this cube to animate this, uh, to create this curve target. Which means if I'm animating this cube, then the curve will update its creation. But you cannot keyframe the creation of a curve. That's why you cannot bake anything. In this case, this method won't work and you just have to use the script. So what I want to say is script is the ultimate answer for everything. It basically solves all your problems. If you have if you just have crashes your blenders, then use a script. It will solve all of your issues. But just for your knowledge, there is also a way to bake keyframe. You don't necessarily do bake keyframe only because you want to, like to resolve the crashes during rendering. You can bake keyframes for whatever kind of reasons. And I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, but uh, I'm not the person who created all these solutions. Uh, the reason I make this troubleshooting tutorial is that it will be very frustrating that uh, you spend hours in making an animation and you find you cannot render that out. Uh, in many tutorials about animation nodes, I barely find people talking about this issue on YouTube channel. So in case you're so in case if anybody see this tutorial, I hope this will be helpful to them, uh, leading them to GitHub page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will probably see you next time. Bye-bye.